Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Do It Again. I'm Eric. I'm Matt. Uh, and this week we're going off of um, Steve's prompt, which is uh, a Serenity sequel. Which was harder than I expected, honestly, a little bit. It was as hard as... Well, it was actually probably maybe a little bit easier than I than I expected. I, I want to say up front, because uh, I don't think my pitch is bad, but it's a little light. Which I feel like I say every time, and then it's like <laughs> it took me thirty minutes to to get through. But Firefly, of the many universes I have done like head fan fiction for, yeah. Firefly's never been one. I like yeah. I, I've always just been like, well, I hope they do more. I've never <laughs> been like, this is what I would do with. Mm -hmm. So it was a little bit more difficult. All I knew was I was going to make mine more more of a western when I. You know, Serenity wasn't better. I rewatched the whole thing, and then yeah. Serenity. Well, not the last episode because I've never watched the last episode. But it's a and, good one, though. And then, as everyone tells me, I'm sure, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure, when we finally get the second season or an ongoing comic season, it'll be great <laughs> when I watch it. Um, but um, yeah, I was, I just kind of knew that it was going to be a western, and that was kind of it and because Serenity is so much not a western. Yeah. Um, and I was. I went into it and I was like, well, you know, I'm just not going to touch the mythology stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't know what, what like, I don't have theories. Yeah. And then I watched Randy, I was like, oh, they, they tied everything up. Like, yeah. there's nothing to do. I don't even know, like, what Joss Whedon would do with a, with mm. a sequel. Um, all right, so, uh, do you want to go first? Should I go first? Cause Dude, not it. Is, is, you, not it. Yeah, not it. Not it. <sighs> all right. Mine is called Serenity Happy Endings. <laughs> Serenity 2. Well, no, it's Serenity colon happy endings. <laughs> I, I, of everything in my pitch, I think... I think two and a half hour thing, like the ending from Sandlot. Just <laughs> like, what happened to everybody? <laughs> no one ever saw Washington. Everybody. Um... I, of all of all the things in my pitch, the title, Happy Endings, might be my favorite. I think it's a good yeah. title. Um, <laughs> Alright, so... So my thing was specifically like this is if a Serenity movie came out like this year or next year mm -hmm. it's not a when it's ready to come out like 2005 I don't know I think Serenity's 2005 it's not it's not a and then like immediately sequel yeah it it's as if it was made now and within universe time yeah. time has passed it's been like 10 years since since the events of Serenity which meaningless yeah. um I, 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 you know, they they had that big thing where like they everyone found out that the the people that the the alliance created the reavers. Um, I liked that better watching mm -hmm. it through this time. I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of a that probably would have been really cool when we got to this in like season three after like yeah. we really built up. But but that's like the big thing for that movie that I think if you were gonna do a sequel, you would follow up on is mm -hmm. like the alliance is weaker now. Yeah. Um, my point of reference for basically ignoring that is uh, last year where, when we had the um, we had those hearings for I think it was the CIA maybe it was the FBI yeah for the like all the horrible stuff we've been doing for the past decade since the beginning <laughs> of the war and what happened our government didn't crumble that we fe like like I don't know if you've gone through that stuff or you've heard some of the horrible <laughs> things that we did, but our government no one cares. Our government didn't crumble. We didn't. Um, we just put out. I mean, I, I don't know that situation intrinsically, but I'm gonna assume that like we just kind of put out like some patsies and like they're like those are the people responsible, yeah. and then we just carried about our day and we kept doing the awful things that we do. Um, that's kind of what happened with. Uh, the only fallout from Serenity is that they're a little bit more wanted. Yeah. Um, but even then, ten years on, like that's kind of lessened. They haven't had any like big adventures. They haven't done anything that's really yeah. like turned the tide of anything. Um, so the focus and theme of, of of the film is kind of what I don't know. I was thinking about this a lot while I was watching Firefly. Uh, and I kind of want all of the characters except for Zoe and Mao to kind of echo this of 
Okay, we've been doing this for 15 years. Like, when do we go home? Yeah. When is the end? Um, it was it was something I started thinking about where I was like I was like okay but but like you're you're, you're doing the smuggling jobs you're like stealing yeah. to survive that can't be your end goal like what are you working towards and and I want it's kind of Mal's end goal is <laughs> just to keep flying that's the thing mm -hmm. is uh, specifically Kaylee and Simon who are now a couple and um, Rivers essentially like their daughter yeah uh, River and Jane were the two hardest people for my pitch. Um, Jane's easy. You just gotta go, and then Jane showed up. <laughs> well, but to, like, be like, yeah. like, Jane, and Jane's there, and he's funny. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> Kaylee and Simon specifically... Like they would just forget Jane's on the ship and be like, Jane, you didn't leave? No. <laughs> like, oh. Where else would I go? Yeah, well. Um, but, uh... <laughs> free room board, all I got to do is shoot people? It's a heck of a deal now. But, uh, River's kind of like their daughter... And I want River to be both better and worse. Yeah. Where, like, sometimes she is, she, she is a completely normal person, maybe for an extended period of time. Yeah. And then she'll, like, relapse. And she'll be, like, a child. Um, so uh, Kaylee and Simon are kind of like River's parents. Even though River is now, she's, she's like, in her 30s, <laughs> she can't be left alone. She still mm -hmm. has to be cared for. Um, and so... Uh, Kaylee and Simon are, are are really the ones that are like, okay, so, like, I love being on this ship. I love, well, Kaylee loves being on the yeah. ship. I love doing this. Uh, Simon's there because Kaylee's there. And where else would he take River? But really, like, they're kind of confronting Mal and being like, why? Yeah. What is the end goal for Firefly? Just... Um, and and I think I think Jane's kind of like that too. Like like maybe Jane's, he's not gotten any smarter. But he's maybe gotten a little bit wiser or a little bit more world weary. <laughs> yeah. Where he's like, he's like, yeah, man, I, I don't, I don't want people shooting at me all the time. Like, 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 like my dad, he he came home and he sat back and he drank a beer. Like, like I'd like to do that at some point. Um, Anara and Mal are uh, are split. Yeah. Um, they have had a relationship in the in this in this mm -hmm. intervening ten years, but they're they've now split and. They're kind of like a couple who has broken up, but because, like, they still have a year on the lease, they're still yeah. living together. They're not as antagonistic. They're kind of awkward around each other and just kind of ignoring each other. Um, and Anara, Anara's here because in the very Joss Whedon... Uh, Joss Whedon has this ongoing theme across all of his things of, like, found family. Yeah. Um... That's why Anara is here. Like, I kind of maybe want like a point where like Anara like joins in like an argument with Mal, and and Mal's like, "Why are you even here?" Yeah, and it's because this is mm. their family. Um, that's like that's a really big Joss Whedon thing. Um, Zoe's in the middle. Uh, <laughs> like Zoe's very almost like how Mal's supposed to be in the beginning of Firefly. Yeah. Um, where, like, the death of Wash has taken, like, a major effect on her, and she's not... She's just more distant now. She's just kind of doing whatever. She doesn't really care. Um, and for Mal, this is the life he always wanted. So, we, uh, we'll open on, like, uh, some kind of, you know, heisty, James Bondy. Yeah. Like, this isn't really connected to the rest of the story, but, like, it's a, it's a big adventure. And we'll have, like, these kinds of arguments going on throughout the adventure. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're gonna... One of the things I don't like about my pitch is I basically, it's, it's all on one planet. Yeah. Um, Serenity specifically is really planet-hopping. Um, mine's kind of just on one planet. Uh, Basically, they 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 steal their goods and everything, and then they they fall back to this planet. I don't have a name for the planet. The planet doesn't really have a name. It's just like LV four two one, you know, something like that. Um, <laughs> that almost got dark. <laughs> and um, and it's just it's a small western town. Yeah. And um, this planet is kind of recently terraformed, and the people on it don't really want to be part of the Alliance. Hey, Colony's there for years. I've never had a problem like that. 
<laughs> skirting some pretty dangerous lines, Eric. <laughs> um, but they um, hmm. they don't really want to be part of the alliance. Uh, like I didn't figure out exactly what it was, but something um, kind of like the, the the way we span our, our history, where it's like, well, England was passing all these laws, and they didn't really affect us, or they negatively affected us without taking into yeah. account. And that's kind of the way this plan is, where it's like, you have all these regulations and things, and they don't apply to us, and if we're law-abiding, it makes it harder. Yeah. Um, and so the Alliance is kind of thinking about making an example out of these. Like, they're not, this is not a, like, an outlier. I mean, it's a little bit of an outlier. It's not like all of the planets are like this. But more and more, there's mm -hmm. planets that are like, Hey man, like I have a whole planet. Like maybe, maybe we don't. Maybe your rules don't apply to every planet. Um, and uh, the person that they've decided to deal with this uh, is is played by Ian McShane. Um, of course. And uh, he's called Lazarus. He has a name, but his name's not important. Everyone refers to him as Lazarus. He is a military general, and he was part of the war. Yeah, uh, which is why they started calling him Lazarus. Is like like he had a tendency to like come into a battle and just change the tide. Like they yeah. they could really be losing, and and Ian McShane shows <laughs> up and just turns the tide of battle. And in fact, he's the guy who was in charge of the Battle of Serenity. Uh. Um, he was the genius who was like, "What if we just drop a bunch of ships? Like like well, maybe we yeah. win this if we just have a bunch of ships." Um, Listen, I get it. They have a guy with a turret, but like, what if I got a lot of shoes? <laughs> uh, so he he was the guy in charge of that, and I guarantee you, if Firefly went on, this character would exist in some way. The guy that was yeah. in charge of the counter. Um, but so he's the bad guy, and he's kind of like he's itching for a fight. Mm -hmm. He like he kind of wants another revolt because his entire life was combat. Um, and he's kind of, he's kind of like Mao. Because yeah. um, Mao also kind of wants another war. Yeah. Uh, and he's never really been satisfied since the end of the war. So he's kind of a, a, little, a little bit of, of a mirror of, of Mao. Um, and so the Serenity crew, you know, sets up shop in, in this planet. They're trying to figure out what to do next. And then, like, we start having, like, alliance, like there starts to be like attacks and stuff mm -hmm. um and like i didn't cast anybody or name anybody but like there would be characters in this town that like they would get to know and like or they already like mm -hmm. and uh like they would get murdered and things like that um and it would all see i suck at middles like like most of my pitches i'm like this is how it starts this is how it ends and stuff happens to get between the I mean, two yeah. but like essentially it, it would all come to this it would all build to this uh, very like western, like like the outlaw Josie Wales, uh, you know, just a last stand. Yeah. Um. And uh, Lather, uh, Lazarus and Mal would have like a conversation. They decide instead of having a big a big skirmish uh, with lots of bloodshed, they'll just have a duel. Yeah. Um, because that's something that we never did on Firefly. Yeah. But that's a super westerny thing. I mean, we had a sword duel, but that's not the same. Um. <laughs> Now and Lazarus will will have a duel, and whoever loses goes home. Um, and uh, so they have a shootout, and and Mao wins. Mao kills Lazarus, and then all the Alliance troopers just gun down Mao. Oh, he's just yeah, oh. yeah. No, Mao Mao just gets gunned down, oh. and then we just get into a big firefight, and uh, a firefight. <laughs> no, that's a bad one. <laughs> Um, they're all in fire or flight mode. I mean, um, sometimes both. And and through this, we start seeing like Zoe kind of take charge uh, mm -hmm. of the battle. Uh, very clearly, like kind of the the leadership shifts to Zoe because who that who else is gonna yeah. maybe have a scene where Jane's like, well, if Mal's dead, I'm I'm next in line Obviously. in the in the the rankings, right? Um. But then, you know, Zoe just, like, gives him, like, a mean look. He's like, right, I'll, I'll do what I'm supposed to do. Whatever. Um, and so it's just it's a big fight. Um, and they're able to beat them back quite... They're able to beat back the Alliance quite a bit. And 
maybe... I, I never picked who would give this speech. It's not... It's not Jane. Yeah. Probably not Simon, but maybe... So, like, I can kind of see cases for everyone, but someone will give a speech of, like, we are drawing a line in the sand. You do not come here. Um, and the Alliance leaves and like, they kind of become uh, like an independent state. Uh, and we would kind of montage across um, the town getting built up and the plant getting built up. And uh, Zoe is the mayor, probably some kind of gag about Jane running for mayor and, and losing um, every year, 10 years straight. <laughs> Kaylee and Simon would uh, would you know live together with River and they would have an actual child um, probably some kind of like in the montage echoing that um, maybe double echoing because there's that weird thing at the end of Serenity where, where River's watching them have sex and then there's also where River's watching that, that, that woman give birth yeah like maybe some kind of like weird because it's, it's, it's a montage like maybe mm -hmm. just having like some some looks at, at like where River's just there, but they have an actual child and they start raising it. Um, Anara opens a I'm really waiting for you to be like, and then the Alliance just carpet bombs this planet for more of it. No, it's happy endings, dude. Uh, Anara opens a uh, a because uh, that's really what I ended up. I was like, I was like, at this point. I don't know how much like we could we could stretch this. I want to give an ending. Yeah. Like maybe not maybe not pay off the couple of like loose strands, but I want to give these characters an ending. Um, Anara opens uh, a school for uh, what are they called? Companions. Companions. She opens a companion school that is non alliance affiliated. Um, and uh, like that cool whorehouse in the yeah. second to last episode. Yeah, yeah, which is the last episode. The for last me. episode. For you. Um, but um, and then like. The planet is called uh, Reynolds Falls. Oh, uh, <laughs> and so yeah, like like I, I like I was trying, I was really trying to think of like I was like, well, it needs to be an ending. What's an obtainable end game? And I can only think of two. One was it ends with a war restarting. Yeah. Um, and the other one is that they are able to get some kind of land, and so that's kind of what I what I went with is that they they have a planet where they are. They're them, yeah, kind of thing. Um, it, it's not, it's not great, but it's something. Yeah. Um, I actually went a very different route. Thank God. I mean, uh, I don't want to say you said that, but it's like I kind of went. I a was way route, off mic too. I don't know if anybody heard. But that. we went very similar. Of course we did. Oh man. So um, mine, the, like I, I really pitched it with the idea that this was a two and a half hour TV movie. Like, this okay. was, like, an extra Yours long pilot okay. that would restart the series oh, okay. or, or, or kind of, like, open up That's threads. different than what I did. Um, mine does use a lot of that uh, comic book expanded stuff. Um, oh, yeah, I ignored all that because I hadn't read it. Yeah, I... And, and Joss Whedon said with Buffy, like, yeah. if he did more Buffy, he would just ignore the comics. Well, so. I mean, in my years, Joss Whedon's dead, and I'm the only one doing this. Oh, yeah, life. that is the only way this happens, <laughs> is, like, if everyone yeah. involved with Firefly has passed away, and for some reason, they're like, hey, guys. Yeah, you too. Because, uh, like, Zoe has Wash's kid, and she's pregnant with him in one of the comics, and I kept that thread. Um... So in mine, it's it's not nearly as long. It's a few years at best. Everyone's scattered. It's just Mal and Inara living on Serenity, just parked somewhere. They finally get together because I kind of want them to replace Wash and Zoe as the that's working why, that, couple. That's why I did with Kay Kaylee and, and Simon. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're there too, but like... Nah. <laughs> but... So Mal and Anara are kind of working things out. Like, there's finally some kind of peace there with them, and everybody's kind of scattered. Zoe's off on her own, raising her kid. Uh, Jane is probably... You were going to say Wash. I almost did. Wash is rotting in some, <laughs> some pit. Occasionally just cut to, like, the corpse. <laughs> the spike is a skeleton in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Leaf on the wind. Leaf on the wind. Uh, Jane's probably just in some brig somewhere. Uh... Um, I almost uh, had River with Mal the whole time, but no, I, I kind of River's have to, the hard one to, to yeah, place. she's weird. Because I, I really wanted that. Because like they, they they really sell you on her on her being the pilot. Oh yeah, um, I, I didn't say that, but that's also where I went. Is that she's mm -hmm. the new pilot? That's where I'm going to. 
Um, but yeah, they're all scattered, kind of a very similar group. Like it's it's a uh, Kaylee, Simon, and River is their own little group. But they're just kind of hanging out somewhere. Like they're 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 all kind of moving around. And the Alliance is it hasn't fallen apart, but a lot of planets are now going. I don't want to be part of that. And the Alliance is like, oh no. And then another planet would be like, yeah, no, we're good. Sorry. Because it's an alliance, not a, like, empire. Mm -hmm. You're not just, like, locked in. So, um, a thing that they've always said they were going to start getting into was the Blue Sun Corporation in yeah. expanded stuff. Not not even expanded stuff, but they, they always said, like, I imagine, well, and the, the two by two hands of blue people never come back. No, well, they die in a, they, there's a, there's a comic prelude to the movie that they get killed in. And it's revealed to be body armor, by the way. The hands of blue? The blue is, uh, that's the only visible part of, like, a full suit of, like, bulletproof, like, thin No, armor. no, they're clearly blue rubber gloves like we've, we've had. No, before. Eric, they look like rubber armor. Um, um, they but get, they I get imagine they would have been part of... Definitely, they're, they're definitely part of Blue Sun. No, um, no, 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 I imagine Blue Sun would have been part of a lot of the stuff with Serenity. Oh, they, they, they do everything. I know, but that's yeah. not in the movie. Yeah, and I imagine that would be well. Difficult that's that. They're, they're like a. Uh, they're they're always kind of explained by ever, like producers and writers as like, like the Walmart cyberpunkiest. Yeah. yeah, like they they are in everything and like they are awful. But, but I don't think they're even mentioned in Serenity. No, not they're never mentioned directly. Their their logo's just on everything. I, I'm saying yeah. if they were. If that show had gone on, yeah. I think a lot of the stuff that we find out in Serenity, yeah, yeah, they would have been responsible. I, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this. <laughs> but yeah, that's essentially what happened is like, I go with that route. They were responsible. They are part of that. They have their hands in everything. And they've just been kind of offing people. Like they're trying to keep it down and they're, they're trying to play like every side. Like they're, they're actually funding and supporting independent planets being like, well, the Alliance ain't going to help you, but Blue Sun will always be there because oh. of consumerism. And they're just kind of moving around. Uh, but at the same time, they're offing people because there are some weird business connections with Blue Sun and all this stuff. So anytime anybody's getting a little close, gone. And they just decide they start blaming it on uh, Reaver attacks. They blame it on coups. They blame they blame it on brown coat passions at this point. Like everybody's getting blamed. And so Blue Sun's kind of doing their thing, uh, which is on its side. But we we mostly open with a man being chased by. Uh, Operatives, just they're trying to take him down, and he's you know, sword fighting, killing. He's you know, it's cool ninja guy. And you're like, awesome, great. Like the like the guy in Serenity. Exactly like the guy in Serenity. Okay. As I'm like, I like that guy. I like that actor. He's in this one now. But and he, we need a colored guy. But hmm. he. Did you rewatch Serenity? Yeah, he doesn't die. No, but he clearly is not going after them. No, he's not going after them. He's he's on the run. Oh, right oh, I see now because okay. he's involved in a way. And he let them go. He let them. He let Mal do it, kind of. Well, he watched him and was like, "All right, you're good. I don't, I'm not gonna." He let them go at the end. That's that's my big thing. Is I'm like, that's his big kind of problem that he did. Um, so mine is kind of just uh, stuff starts happening. Um, he goes to Mal and it says like, "Littler after me." You know, and he's like, "So I, you, you said you were. I was never gonna see you again because there was nothing left to see. You were all cryptic and weird." And he's like, "They're gonna come after you." Like, they, like they're, well, as soon as they find you, which is probably not too long after I found you. And he's like, ugh. And then shortly after, they get found. So then it becomes kind of a planet hop. We find out where everybody is. We start getting the gang back together. Um, I, I would I would do a lot of building, like, oh, like, oh, this is where Zoe is. She's not exactly the fighter anymore. She's almost more the book at this point. Like, she's mm. the... She's the person who's, like, tells Mal, like, well, she's, she's the moral compass. She's the center... Because she's not a killer anymore. She's really not trying to be a killer. Jane's Jane. Um, I imagine because it's it's Firefly and Joss Whedon and all that. That like, <laughs> that like that point would be would be punctuated by like somebody doing something terrible and she just like shoots them. Shoots like, I thought you were killing it. Like I'm trying not to be a killer. I'm getting better. <laughs> Quit anytime I want. <laughs> um, so Simon, you know, Simon and uh, and, and Kaylee come back happily because, you know, whatever. Well, not happily. They'd be happy to see Mal, and then when they find out they're being hunted, probably cranky. Um, I don't have River being insane really anymore. Because you haven't seen the last episode. They actually make a big point to be like, no, she's fine. But she's or, not in Serenity. In Serenity, it's triggered. Oh, it's because not she's her fault. That. Yeah, that's the thing. It's triggered by that thing. 
So that's the thing is I'm like, she's kind of fine as long as she isn't like set off. And you know, of course that don't don't watch TV at that point. Um, so you know, the gang slowly gets pieced back together uh, with the addition of the the operative from Serenity, and they kind of just avoid. Um, you know, they're just avoiding stuff, and then Blue Sun starts dipping into contacts because they're like, well. He, uh, he went there last time we saw him he was going there he's like that means he's getting him involved we could probably catch all of them if we really moved quickly um and they're like alright alright cool so it, it's it's a lot of just little conspiracy stuff a lot of, a lot of seeding I built I set up a lot of characters just kind of like um various directors and and, and, and lieutenants and just I, I, like I, I would spend a lot of time my middle is so much just like characters being introduced doing some stuff doing some stuff um, it kind of just builds until they hire Nishka, the old dude that's never resolved in in Firefly. Nishka. He's the the weird old crime lord guy. Oh, the who the torture tortures guy. Mal a bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the last time you see him is him running away, like getting away. You know, I think it's fair to say it's never resolved the way you said it. They would have resolved. They didn't drop <laughs> that thread. I'm just saying it's never resolved. Um. They do hire him. He uses connections to kind of go after Mal, um, doing as best he can because nobody wants to mess with him. Nobody's going to deal with him. He starts like torturing, attacking. I bring back the one dude with the mustache who shaved his beard when he married. Um, oh yeah! I bring him back. He gets messed up to try and find Mal. I thought about bringing her back, and I just didn't have a, a place for it. Yeah, I kind of I have her as well, but she like I, I basically kind of try and pull as many like I pull Badger, I pull. I, I, it's kind of like a hey, all these characters that probably could have been in Serenity. I actually also bring uh, Fanti and uh, Mingo. Is it Mingo or Dingo? It's Mingo, I think. The 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 twins who are really handsome. Oh yeah. Goes, How do you always know Fancy's prettier? And then it's just that weird like I am prettier look, and that's one of my favorite bits in, in Serenity. Um, I just bring everybody back, and it, it kind of turns into the. It's almost the scene of like keep your quarry from going to ground, and you know, or if your quarry goes to ground, leave no ground to go to. And that'd probably be a moment where he's like, well, I would have done it this way. And it's like, you're not helping, Operative. Like, where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Like, they want us dead because we, like, what? We didn't even win. Like, nothing happened. And that, like, that's a theme that's in mind kind of, too, is, like, nothing really changed. And they're like, no, no, things are changing, just not in the way you wanted. Like, you thought a big fight was going to break out. That's not how they fight. They don't fight you anymore. They just kind of they fix it behind the scenes, and nothing's ever a problem. And nothing's being really reported, even. Because Blue Sun runs the media as well in, in Firefly. They run everything. It's scary. Um, and it eventually comes down to a almost an Old West shootout. Mm -hmm. Again, just on a planet somewhere. Very uh, magnificent setting. Okay, but these similarities are not... No, like, they're, these they're, are they're, they're very are thematic. With... It's not like we have the same plot again. <laughs> it's not like, you're like, so they're on a planet. So they're on a planet. They're on a planet, <laughs> and Mal's gunned down after... I knew it! You could to know! Uh, no, actually, I don't kill any of the main 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 guys. Um, I kind of I thought as an ending, Mal has to die. Yeah, well, mine's a new beginning, and yeah. I uh, it ultimately is that what it's called, Randy, the new beginning. Yeah, sure. Now it is. <laughs> I didn't think of a name. Uh, yeah, my, mine's like a lot of little hodgepodge. It plays out very much like a pilot. Like it's just a little mm. bunch of setup, and that's kind of what I want to do with it is leave it open, and then the big the big kicker is that last fight. Because Mal isn't just going to, like, take this. So he, like, literally goes out there and he he ultimately brings down one of those big Alliance cruiser things. Like, he causes it to fall apart, blow up in atmosphere. Which becomes a, a galactic incident. Which Blue Sun starts spinning immediately. So the victory is immediately. The, 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 the crew of the Serenity winning, getting away. It's almost, um... This, I want it to almost be the same thing where they, they went in Atmo, hyperdrive mm -hmm. and like messed the, the Reaver ship up. It's mm -hmm. almost like that. They lured it into a moment, and they, they crack it in half and kill a bunch of people. But their victory is almost immediately ruined as Blue Sun spins it as a terrorist attack by Browncoats, which mm -hmm. sets a fire across the entire galaxy with planets being like, we, we don't have to. We don't have to take it. Let's just go. Let's do it. So the crew of the Serenity is... By the end of mine, is kind of left as, like, it's a new group. It's it's the same group, but it's a new group. It's Mal, but he's a little bit softer. It's Inara, who's, like, emotional support, no longer being another, a, cha a chain to him. Um, uh, uh, River is not only their pilot, but their chief. Chief just 
butt whooper, essentially. Jane's still Jane. Uh, Zoe is now the the moral compass, the the all encompassing like guy. She's the new book. Her kid is now the new kind of like cute river, except it doesn't kill people enough. Um, and I mean Simon and Zoe, or Simon and Kaylee are kind of just they don't really change just because they're dating. So uh, Simon's a lot looser. I didn't mention that. I want Simon to be way more relaxed. <laughs> like he's so chill now. I well, I honestly I'd flip a coin. I would flip a coin when writing it, and it would either be he gets looser or Kaylee gets up tight, and it's not fun anymore for anybody. <laughs> like, honestly, either way would work for me. But that's... Mine's a lot of just opening up things. Mine's a lot of doors. I just want to... I want to... I want a new start. See, I think we both did more. really good for pitches. Yeah. And neither of us blew up the Firefly, or blew up the Serenity, because... No. Never. I feel like that would be an obvious go-to, especially in science fiction. Oh, and I forgot to mention, in mine, uh, Serenity becomes the, uh, the town hall. That's like it's, cool, it's like That's cool in the, detail, yeah. In the town. yeah. I thought it was cute enough just making it his house, like with clotheslines and stuff <laughs> over it. <laughs> town hall be neat. All right, so uh, things are just things are gonna change. I know people don't yeah. like change, <laughs> but don't worry, I'll, I'll go back to usual. Uh, we're gonna take a break for about a month. Um, we're gonna do a mini so thing, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna come back in October. And we're gonna we're gonna go weekly just for October. We're not weekly from then on. Just, big big special. Yeah, just for October, we are going to pitch uh, a new uh, what are they shared, shared, shared universe. universe. I was, I was gonna say like interconnect. I was gonna try to explain a shared universe for the Universal Monsters. They're doing that now. I think Universal Monsters is arguably the first shared universe. Yeah. Um, so we are gonna pitch four films that are like the build up. To yeah. That, yeah. I. At least in my playing, I don't have, like, the Avengers. I just yeah, have, like, yeah, the that, Thor. I, I Iron assume Man we were Man. building to yeah. the Avengers. Um, plus, I don't know what that would be for monsters. Uh, Dracula, Wolfman, Dr. Jekyll, and Thor. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, Thor's in yours, too. Yeah. But, so, we're we're going uh, to pitch those, so it's going to be weekly. Our, each of our individual pitches will be... All, all four of the films I pitch will be in one continuity. All four of the films Matt pitches yeah. will be in one continuity. And we're also not going to do the same. Yeah. Uh, we're going to pick our own four. Uh, do you know what your first one is? Vaguely. I'm, I'm set, but I might change it. Okay. Well, mine's Dracula. Yeah. I feel like it had it has to be because Universal. Yeah. That, that was the first one. Um, and I feel like that's your easy... Mine, mine might be Creature. Might be Creature? Um... So uh, that's that's what's happening. We're, we're gonna take a, yeah. we're gonna take a brief break. Then we're gonna go weekly, and then we'll go back to the regular regu yeah. regular schedule. And Matt will finally give us uh, a, a, a pitch. A pitch. A uh, <laughs> but you yeah, know, we've been playing the the Universal Monster thing since like week two. Yeah. You're like, you know, what would be cool. Um, so we're doing that. Uh, there's also gonna be a little mini so that's gonna come out uh, maybe a week after this one. Um, and it's uh, we're we're. It's a completely side thing. Like, yeah. it really is a mini episode. We just both came up with eight robot masters, which, uh, <laughs> for those that don't know, those are the Mega Man bosses. Well, you just came to me and were like, I got a great one, so we should make eight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. I was like, I came up with an amazing robot master that people need to know. <laughs> so I'll make up seven I'll crappy make up ones. Seven not as good ones. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to do that. That's... Mm. A very different kind of pitching. It'll probably be maybe a 20-minute yeah. video, if that. Um, Hopefully by October, our setups and lives will be a little bit clearer so we can put yeah, we'll be recording, a lot more time. We'll, re we'll be recording differently and stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, that is what is happening. I was Eric. I'm Matt. Will and we ever do it again? Probably. We said so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs>